Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here back again with another little Halo update video to keep you all abreast, lol, of the situation with Halo Infinite. Before we get started, make sure you leave a like on the video as it greatly helps the channel and the YouTube algorithm and blah 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 blah. And also if you could sub if you haven't already because we are so close to 10k, I would greatly appreciate it. But let's get right into the video. So there's been a lot of leaks and rumors and things of that nature that have been coming out about Halo Infinite over the, you know, last few weeks. And I think that we can kind of confirm a bunch of them at this point, whether it be from, you know, in-game files or teases from 343 or Joe Staten, whatever it may be. I think that there are some that we can check off. There are a, not a ton, but at least a couple unreleased game modes that are going to be coming and some of them are going to be with the yapping event. If you know the yapping from like Halo MCC, you know it, it, it's a fun time. There's wacky gay mode sprinkled in to uh, kind of break up the monotony of the regular Halo experience. And that includes Kong Slayer, where everybody gets to jump around super high and throw fusion coils at each other. Purple Rain Slayer, which is needlers only a slayer brute skewer snipes playlist turbo slayer which is increased like clamber speed and reload speed and all that cool stuff so it's like a super hectic i believe the respawn timer is also lowered and then we're going to see game modes like vip juggernaut de-escalation slayer which is the obviously exact opposite of escalation slayer where you go down in tiers it looks like we're going to get team doubles in june hopefully and then after that we're going to get team snipers Hopefully in October, we will see infection as well. You know, it might be an event, a Halloween type event. So I'm pretty sure that's when we're going to get it at this point because it doesn't seem as smart to just release it in the middle of summertime, you know, when you could make it a big to do. I know how many people love infection. I know it's been missing for a long time, but at this point, I feel like we can wait a couple extra months. Forge is scheduled from what I've heard for September. And there also seems to be a ton of rumblings that the private Forge flights that they've been doing right now will give us Forge maps to be rotated into the map pool this year as well. From what I've heard, they've been doing private flights for two years now, so hopefully those maps look amazing. Looking further, we see July is going to be the second half of the multiplayer narrative event, which is called Alpha Pack, which will probably wrap up the story of this season's narrative event with Erratus and or Aratus, however you pronounce his name, the little AI guy from the Banished. Um, I hope that there's a little bit more involved in that because, you know, the cutscenes that we get are cool, but there's just not a lot there. Hopefully the Xbox event will show off the next Halo campaign stuff, details, anything. As you all know, we talked about the Halo the Endless trademark um, and what that could be, what it will be. And I would love to see something because I think that we need a little bit more PvE replayability in this game right now. Hopefully we will also see the Tatanka game mode that is, fingers crossed, going to arrive in Season 3. And that's like the little Halo Battle Royale mode. I would love to see something at the Xbox event for that as well. I really think that it's going to come in Season 3. Along with that, in Season 3, there will be a huge ranked playlist update. Uh, and that was confirmed by Joe Staten on a podcast he talked about you know, the fundamental issues that plague the rank system and how they're going to fix that. And obviously, we're getting a ton of new cosmetics and blah, 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 blah. So it's getting better, I think. I'm I'm a little bit more hopeful for the future for Halo. Uh, each day that we kind of get one of these little leaks, it's nice to see, I think. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with the Halo TV show. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a video on my thoughts on the TV series. I have thoughts about it. And uh, but I don't want to make a video if nobody cares. So and that's going to do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below if you're new to the channel. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.